Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna if you're new here and welcome to Brianna's Palace. On this channel, I post lots of Disney related content including Loungefly and Funko. So if you wanna see all that stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will be notified when I post. And let's get right into the video. I am so excited to make this video today because I will be doing my Loungefly collection finally and I've collected quite a few Loungefly backpacks since I started this channel. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this Loungefly collection. I can't wait to show you guys all of these bags. So let's start off with my very first Loungefly bag. This bag was actually given to me and it is the Coco Flags Loungefly backpack. It's super cute. I believe this bag is from Box Lunch. And this is really what started the whole addiction. I really love the movie Coco. It's so cute. Um, and I think that this bag is really perfect for, you know, the fall. And I wore this for the Halloween time at Disneyland this year. And I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, if you look really close, you can see the characters on it. It's very pretty so here's the little plaque that it has on it. it just says Pixar lounge fly and it's very nice details all around the bag here's the back of the bag and it has this nice embroidery detail it's really nice and just gold hardware everywhere with vegan leather and black straps it does come with side pockets as well and honestly I can fit a lot of stuff in here when I went on my trip to Disneyland, I put a lot of stuff and I still had room left over. So here's the Coco bag. So for my second Loungefly bag, this is the first official bag that I bought with my own money. Um, it is this super cute Stitch Hula backpack. You guys, look at how cute this bag is. Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters, so when I saw this bag, I knew I had to have it. I actually bought this bag from a reseller in my local mall at the time this bag was sold out and it was really popular this came out i believe in the summer of 2021 it could be wrong this bag is just so cute like just look at it he just has his little hula skirt on and he just looks so cute and then the zipper pull is this pretty um flower on it with gold hardware there's a front pocket where you can put your stuff and it just continues his little body. You can see his little belly inside the pocket. So cute. And his little ears. Like they did such a good job with the details on this bag. Like this is easily one of my top favorite lounge fly bags. Um, the only downfall is it doesn't have side pockets. But that doesn't bother me too much. Because I have so many that do have side pockets. Here's the plaque on the side. I love this baby blue color. It's just so beautiful let me give you a little close up so that's what it looks like and this gold hardware is really nice nothing on the back but honestly i don't really care because that's not what's being seen the most and let's take a look at in the inside so this bag does have an uh, inside zipper pocket and it has this really cute hawaiian themed print going on it's kind of hard to show you guys the inside because I restuff my bags every time I use them. So like there's a lot of stuffing in there. I get so many compliments every time I wear this bag and I just love it so much. So let's move on to my next bag. This is the next bag I got. This is I believe a box lunch exclusive. It is the Mickey ice cream sundae. I really like this bag. It's so unique because I don't really see many with the um pocket the front pocket like this usually it's a zipper not like a button but here's the little waffle cone on the bottom and there's little what is it called like embossed mickey heads everywhere as the little cone and then there's the ice cream with the chocolate drips all on the front the detail on this bag is absolutely stunning there's just this cute little mickey cherry on top all of the sprinkles on this bag are embroidered and i just thought they did such an amazing job with this bag it's just so cute i got so many compliments when i uh, wore this on my trip to disney a while back i just love it 
My next bag is this super cute Stitch and Angel date night bag. And what drew me to this bag the most was this beautiful snow cone on the front. It's all glittery everywhere and they just look so cute. I love the background with the palm trees and the sunset. Um, this I ordered off of Toys and Fun, which is a store that sells a lot of collectibles and Disney items. And I really love Stitch, so when I saw that they came out with a bag that had Angel on it as well, I just had to get it. Because I just think they just look so cute together, and the snow cone is what did it for me, honestly. Like, look at those sparkles. It is so cute. Here's Stitch and Angel again. She's giving him little kisses. I forgot to show you guys. Here's the zipper pull. This little guitar. Like, oh, that is just so cute. I love the detail that went into this bag. This little print right here. This little Stitch and Angel heads. This one is just definitely cute, especially for the summertime. The next bag I'm going to show you guys is my absolute grail bag. I've waited so long to get this bag. Um, when it sold out, I was absolutely crushed. This is my first sequin bag. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I randomly went to Awesome Collectibles Instagram one day and I saw that they were doing a mini restock. And I just ran to their website so fast. I bought this bag and I'm so happy that I have it a part of my collection. And this bag is the Cotton Candy Pink Sequins Lounge Buy Bag. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. I just knew I had to have it. Pink is like one of my favorite colors. It's such good quality. Um, the ears are very sturdy. The bow has such an amazing material. Like look at the plaque. It's just that light shade of pink. It's so pretty and I love rose gold accents all over the bag. So you see the rose gold zipper pulls and it has a front pocket. I'm not going to open that but... Um, it has side pockets as well, and I really love the lighter pink detail around the bag as well as this cotton candy shade of pink. Here's the bottom of the bag. It's lighter on the bottom, and then on the back, it's lighter as well. I just have this cardboard protecting it, but this bag is hands down probably one of my favorite bags. Okay, so the next bag I have is also really popular. This is my first Disney Parks exclusive, and it is the Mickey Premium Bar Bag. I know a lot of people were raving about getting this bag because it is super cute. It's like the Mickey Chocolate Bar, and it's just like, if you're really into collecting like the snacks, the Disney snacks, their infamous pretzel, their waffle, you know, their Mickey bar, their popcorn bucket, then this is the bag for you. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but honestly, this bag grew on me. And the most unique thing about it is that it's scented, and I think that's probably what drew me to this bag the most. It smells like chocolate, you guys. It smells so good. Like, <sighs> this smells so good. I have the matching ears to go with this as well, and they both are scented. I have a video on my channel reviewing this bag so if you want to check that out there it is but yeah it just has this huge mickey ice cream bar on the front i have this little foam thing protecting it let me take that off um and there's a little stick right here because this 3d effect it's actually a pocket as well i know it's really small but you can put like little tiny items in here like lip balm or sanitizer or something like that it does come with side pockets and then it has a little all over print, like this continuous pattern of Mickey ice cream bars. Some are solid and then some have little bites taken out of them. The bottom is white with a little brown trim. And this part right here I think is the most part that smells like chocolate. Um, and this too, but I think this is the main part that does. So yeah, as you can see on the plaque, it says Disney Parks Lounge Fly. Because it is a Disney Parks exclusive. You can only get this on Shop Disney or at the parks. I believe it's sold out now, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. It could still be in the park somewhere. So, it just has silver hardware everywhere. Here's the zipper pulls when you open it up. Again, I'm going to try to show you guys the best as I can with all this stuffing inside. It just has this pattern right here. It's like this tan color with the same Mickey 
bar pattern going all over the interior and it's super cute and I love it. My next lounge fly bag is one that I bought off of Mercari. This is originally a box lunch exclusive but it sold out I believe by the time I decided that I wanted in my collection. So I went ahead and went on Mercari. I found it for a really cheap price from this girl who was selling it brand new and it's just really cute and I wanted it so bad so it is the up lounge fly backpack and this one is really cute because the zipper pocket is diagonal up is one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time honestly it's just so near and dear to my heart so I had to have an up bag to show my appreciation for that movie um, there are side pockets as well and I like that the zipper pulls have these little blue accents to them and on the front is this huge display of the balloons from the movie with Carl and Ellie's chairs side by side attached to them and these cute clouds going all over the front like anything with like clouds and blue skies I just love this color so much I really love baby blue and I love how the back has clouds as well like that's just so cute and the bottom is this darker blue this bag um, also has gold hardware going all around and here's a close-up look of the plaque on the front the Pixar lounge fly plaque with the beautiful matching baby blue color it does have an interior zipper pocket and I love this print going on it's a bunch of balloons everywhere and I thought that was just so pretty and such a nice surprise inside when you open up your bag so i'm so happy i purchased this off mercari and yeah don't sleep on mercari because you probably can find a lot of good finds on there for a reasonable price and don't be afraid to negotiate you know don't stoop too low but you know something reasonable could get you a really nice lounge fly bag so yeah on to the next bag this bag that i'm about to show you is also one of my top favorite bags that i own it is one of my girls as well and it is a box lunch exclusive that sold out again and I bought it off Mercari. It is this white iridescent lounge fly mini backpack. Super cute. I love the all white look. And it has this beautiful iridescent bow with sequins all over. And the ears are the same way. I have the ear protector on this as well. It still has this beautiful rose gold hardware all over. Here's a closer look at the plaque so beautiful and I love that the straps are pink let me give you guys a closer look this bag is just absolutely gorgeous here's the bottom forgot to show you guys but this bag and the pink sequins bag they have the same inner lining pattern they both have this pink background with white polka dots everywhere and they both have inside zipper pockets so i really love this bag and i think it's just so beautiful okay guys so i had to switch the settings real quick because it was getting dark i was sitting by my window and the sun started setting so i had to change the setting and turn on some lights so let's just keep continuing with this lounge fly collection as you can see the beautiful bags are back on display and i have my little christmas tree if you guys want to see a little more in-depth detail of my shelves once they're all squared away for Christmas, make sure to let me know and I would love to do that for you. But let's get right back into this Loungefly collection haul. So the next bag I have, I believe, is called the Strawberry Sunday Loungefly Backpack. Um, I think this is a Pink Alamode exclusive. I did not buy this from Pink Alamode. I missed out again and bought this off of Mercari from a reseller. But... I did get it for a good deal so I wasn't too mad about it um, of course I had to have it because it's pink but also I just love cosplay I really like the ice cream look on bags it just looks so cute and fun I wore this on my recent trip to Disneyland for my birthday I thought it really added to the theme of like birthday 
not a cake but ice cream you know the sprinkles on this bag are also embroidered everywhere the drips are one big applique this bow is just absolutely stunning and it has little ears this bag is different from most um bags with ears on them because they are on the front and most usually are set towards the back so i thought that was really unique this has a true gold finish on the hardware Here's the little bottom half of the bag. The pocket just is supposed to represent like the cone. And this little accent, it looks like a cherry to me, but I'm not sure if it is. I love when they add details like this on the zipper pulls. Like it just, it just does something. Um, here's the plaque, this beautiful cream white color. And then on the back, we have the same pink color going on bottom is pink as well so again it has a front pocket right here and on the inside it has this beautiful little print little mini ice cream design and that's the same throughout the whole bag so i'm not going to show the inside i don't know if this has a pocket i believe it does have a zipper pocket in this bag as well and then you got your side pockets right here how cute is this here's a little closer look at the bag so cute. So yeah, gorgeous bag and I'm in love with it. This next Loungefly bag I pre-ordered back in March of this year. It was a pre-order and it took some time to get here. I think I waited about eight months to receive it. Um, this is also from Toys and Fun. This right here is probably one of my favorite bags. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, it's because this movie I just love so much. And it is the Tafiti Cosplay Loungefly Backpack. I knew that I had to have this bag. They had two waves that they dropped this bag. The first wave, it sold out instantly. So I had to wait till the second wave. I bought it, it sold out again. And I'm so glad I did, even though it was a pre-order. Because I love Moana and I love... The colors of this bag, like, look at just how vibrant it is. Like, I'm just speechless. So if you're familiar with Moana, this is Tafiti. A huge, giant applique on the front. And on the front pocket, you can see Maui, Moana, Hehe, and Pua. They're just on the boat and the ocean. And it just, the colors are just so beautiful. I love the sunset. I love the clouds, I love everything about it. And on the front, you can see the plaque is this beautiful ocean blue with silver hardware. The zipper pull has the heart of Tafiti. I believe this is the necklace her grandmother was wearing holding it. And I thought this was such a cute addition to the bag. Like, how cute is that? I love palm trees. You got a lot of those going on on the sides of the bag here as well with nice flowers everywhere and the quality is just amazing this applique is sturdy it's not going anywhere it stands up perfectly all of these flowers are just so beautiful you have some details embroidered on the sides and then you have appliques on the front and then the rest is like this embossed finish so beautiful look at her face like this is one of the most beautiful bags that Loungefly has come out with in my opinion and it's a must have in my collection. And then we just have Hey Hey and Pua chilling on the back of the bag. And I just love when they add little details like this on the back of the bags. It's just so cute. And the bottom is just this continued green color. Um, they did such a great job with this bag. So the inside of the bag has this beautiful pattern right here. And like I said, Moana is one of my favorite Disney movies so I had to have a bag to represent that okay guys we're almost done I just have a couple more bags left to show you I feel like I've been filming for so long so this next bag was actually a birthday gift from some of my close friends I love it so much it's so cute and unique it's this Donald cosplay bag and look at how cute it's so fluffy on the bag it feels so soft and it's this beautiful blue color to represent his outfit and the little bow he wears give you guys a little close-up look 
I was so happy when they surprised me with this bag because they just know how much I love lounge fly. But I was so thankful to receive this as a gift because I know that these bags can get a little pricey. And on the back, you guys, this is my, probably my favorite part. It has these little feet and it's so cute. Like, look at the little feet. Little duck feet on the back and it's so freaking cute. So it's fluffy all over, even on the bottom. And this, I believe, is sold at box lunch and might still be on their website and in stores you just have to double check but i would hurry because i'm sure this will sell out soon on the inside it has this red background with little pictures of donald everywhere and i just love it so much and i'm so happy that they got this for me for my birthday. I honestly had such a great time at Disneyland on my birthday. So if you haven't seen my vlog, go check it out on my channel. The next bag I'm going to show you is the birthday gift that I bought for myself. As if I needed more bags. So I went ahead and got the Prince Charming Regal Carousel bag. This is the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Edition bag. So cute. So much detail going on. And... I just had to have this bag. This is my second Disney Parks exclusive lounge fly bag. And it just has little carousels all over the bag with this beautiful gold accent. I think the gold just makes the bag look really royal. And it's just so beautiful. I love this bag so much. On the bottom, it's gold all over. And it has little Mickey buttons on the front. The zipper pull is a little crown. I think this is so cute. And it has the Walt Disney World 50th plaque on the side. This bag is stunning. And I got it inside of Disneyland. It was selling out really fast. I wasn't going to get it at first. But then I was just like, might as well. Because once this sells out, I might regret it. So I'm really happy I did go ahead and purchase this bag. It is so stunning. The colors are just so unique. I don't have any bag that looks like this with gold everywhere and this really nice teal color. And the interior just has this design on the inside, which I think is so cute. I have to hurry up because my battery on my camera is about to die and I have about one bag left. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is my most recent bag that I've purchased off of Shop Disney. I thought it was so cute, perfect for winter, and really girly. This is a part of their Piglet Pink collection. Such a beautiful bag. Pink is my favorite color, and I just had to have this bag because, you know, winter is coming up, and the fuzziness just gives me the thought of winter. But... This bag is going for a little bit more now. I know I've heard that they're going to start raising the prices on Lounge bags. Again, this is a Disney Park exclusive. So you can only get this on Shop Disney or at the parks. This bag runs for about $98, I believe. And it comes with a whole collection. They came out with pink Crocs to match. A Starbucks tumbler. And spirit jersey ears so many things so if you love pink i definitely recommend getting this bag it's such good quality i love the rose gold accents of course and it does come with side pockets and i believe this bag has the same interior as these two bags behind me just a pink background with white polka dots everywhere and i do think there's a zipper pocket as well so i'll give you one more closer look of this bag before i wrap up this video so I believe that wraps up this video, you guys. This was my last lounge fly bag. That marks all 13 bags that I have collected over the past year or so. Um, I'm so thankful once again to be able to have these bags part of my collection. And I just love being a part of a community like this so that we could all share our interests in such a creative way. I love making these types of videos for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If there's any videos you would like to see from me in the future, don't be afraid to comment them down below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss when I post.
Comment down below what your favorite lounge fly bag is or what you plan on getting in the near future. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.